Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we will see how to organize a cross dock in a warehouse in order for the inventory management. So a cross docking is the process of sending products that are received directly to the customers without making them enter the stock. So products are simply unloaded in a cross dock area in order to reorganize them. So this cross docking is done in Odoo by creating a route and setting it for your warehouse. So just open inventory module and go to configuration settings and make sure that you have enabled multi-step routes for your warehouse because that is essential in order to create and configure routes and rules. So here under warehouse you can see it is not activated so just activate this so that you can view some pre-configured routes for your warehouse and you can also see storage locations are automatically enabled along with this which is used to track product location in your warehouse so now we can save the settings and after saving this you will be able to see some routes and rules created for your warehouse so now let's open our warehouse and inside the configuration page of warehouse here we can set incoming shipment and outgoing shipment route so we have different options for setting default route for incoming and outgoing shipment so let's set it as two step for both incoming and outgoing shipment. So this modification will lead to the creation of a cross docking route. So after that, we save this. So if you're setting two step for incoming shipment, then products can be received in an input location and then it can be moved to stock. And if you are setting outgoing shipment as two step, then products can be sent to an output location before sending it directly to customer. So now just come under configuration and open routes. Here you can see a crosstalk route is configured by Odo for your warehouse. Now just click on edit in order to edit the details. So here we can select the places where the route can be selected. So you can apply it on product categories and we can use it for a particular product. So this route will be selectable in the product form. And we can also apply it on packaging, product packaging. And then if you want to make this route available for a particular warehouse, then we can enable this and choose a warehouse. So I only want this route to be applicable on the warehouse San Francisco. And then if you want to choose this route from sale order line, then you have to enable this also. So after selecting the applicability here, we can find the rules added for the route. So for cross dock, you can see two pull from rules are added. So when products are bought in input location, and whenever there is a need in output location, then uh, products will be moved to output location. And then from output location, we are moved to customer location whenever there is a need in customer's location. So you can see in between, there is no involvement of the location stock. Now let's open a product and apply this route for that product. So here we have a product disk combination, just open that. And first we have to come under inventory and enable the route buy and cross stock. So whenever there is a need in input location, we can satisfy the need by triggering a buy route. That is we can create a request for quotation and satisfy the need. So make sure that you have enabled these two routes. 
and after that you have to make sure that you have added a vendor for your product so that you can send request for quotation to that vendor so just add the vendor and set a price now save the product form and here we can click on this view diagram to view the product route so this shows the product routes report we can see we can see whenever we purchase a product it will be brought to a input location and if there is a need in output location then internal transfers will be done to move it from input to output location and if you want to deliver product to customer then we can move from output location to customer's location and you can also view other operations here so now once everything is done let's create a sale order choose a customer and then add the product add the product and after that just confirm the sale order so order will automatically create two transfers which will be linked to the sale order once you confirm it here we can see the two transfers so the first one is a transfer from input location to the output location corresponding to the move of the product in the crossed off area and the second one is a delivery order from the output location to your customer's location and you can see both are in the state waiting another operation because we still need to order the product to our supplier and you can see odoo have automatically created an rfq here for the sale order one who is confirmed this is used to satisfy the need in input location so you can see for one quantity of this product request for quotation is generated we can send this as mail to the vendor or we can directly confirm it from here so we can just click on this confirm and once it is confirmed we can receive the product and validated transfer so you can receive product from the vendor azure interior so you can see the supplier is azure interior because we have set him as a vendor inside the product form now validate it so now we have product in input location now we can go back to our delivery order that is our transfer so here we can see the transfer to move product from input to output location is in ready now we can validate this and fulfill the need in output location so now product is available in output location so we can transfer it from output to customer's location so here we can see the next transfer is also in ready state now when you open it you can see we can validate this transfer and move the product from output location to customer's location so delivery is done so you can see there is no stock involved in between these operations so this is how cross stocking work in odo 15 and don't forget to watch our video roots and rules in odo 15 inventory so you can get a clear idea how roots are created and configured so that's all for this video and if you have any doubt you can add your comments below and if you require any odo implementation or customization in your business drop a request to odo@cybrosis.com
and do subscribe our channel to get latest updates.